Welcome. Today I wanted to talk about affordable facial motion capture helmets. Um, the reason why this is an interesting topic because if you look up trying to buy a facial motion capture helmet online, most of the time you get a price range from a couple of hundred dollars to like twelve hundred or sixteen hundred dollars, which you know to me seems like a, an astronomical price for a helmet. Well, basically, what you need is a helmet with a rig in front of it just to hold a camera. Um, even some of the cameras that you find online for like twelve hundred dollars, they're basically three D printed, but you can't find the designs for them anywhere online. Thought about trying to 3D print one myself, but uh, there's a couple of different solutions uh, you can use. It's some DIY solutions. So I'll show you um, that one that I found from a couple of YouTubers online like Solomon Jackway and, and several others. And then I'll show you one I got from different pieces I got off of, I believe, Amazon.com. And I'll try to include the different components in the description below. So first is the bicycle helmet design, which is, uh, if you have some certain things laying around the house, this can be very economical. Um, as we can see here, this is basically a bicycle helmet with a tripod mounted to it via zip ties. Uh, this is basically a very small tripod for using like cell phones or ring lights and then you can either get a tripod in that has like a bendy mount to it which I've seen some designs use in my case I didn't have one so I used this this was like a suction cup bendable uh, uh, attachment for something that was also supposed to be for cameras I just use zip ties to mount that up there, but any, either way you want something that's flexible so you can position the phone into place. And then of course I have a phone mount that's uh, wrapped around the end of this the, uh, the pliable arm right here. And I'm particular about the orientation of my camera mount. I like to have my phone vertical instead of or well, vertical versus horizontal because you know, the face is going to be vertical so I'd rather have more screen space facing that way. The only part of the designs I saw online that I didn't implement were counterweights because when you put this helmet on your head it's going to be pretty heavy so it's going to you know, basically pull everything forward and especially if you have neck issues and things like that it's going to be, it's going to be rather uncomfortable. The specific type of helmet may not matter, but the most important feature here is going to be this um, back uh, headband that has a ratcheting uh, dial to it that allows you to tighten the headband around your head so you don't have to use the chin straps because you don't want to necessarily have to use the chin straps because you're doing a facial motion performance. You need full range of motion in your head, in your jaw, in order to fully emote for the camera. So it's, it's good to have the option not to have to use these. So I'm going to just kind of demonstrate for a moment how this would look without having a counterweight. And if you want to use a counterweight, you can just use twist ties again, or zip ties rather, and use some um, one pound hand weights. I did purchase some, but I never actually put them on this setup. Probably because I was getting ready to get the second setup that we'll go over here in a few moments. So you would put the camera or the helmet on like that, and I'm going to grab my iPhone, which I use either Face Face Cap or the other program is Epic uh, Live Link for Unreal Engine. And so yeah, by the time you put the put the phone on, it, it is rather helmet heavy, so you want to use like a one or two pound weight. But here, whatever type of arm you have that's flexible, you can now position it and position the phone so that it's facing your face and capturing your facial motion performance. Um, let's see if I can even get the chin strap on because I want to demonstrate rather quickly that 
while this is economical, you probably see, especially with the flexible arm, that you have some give with the phone, which is going to mess up your facial motion capture performance due to instability. And even with this being stable, if you had something a more stable arm, the, there's, a, there's still some give with the tripod being mounted to it with zip ties. The zip ties, no matter how tight you may try to pull them, depending on how much you move your head, there's going to be some give with that. So moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And go with the second setup. And at the time of this recording, I believe all this together probably cost about $125. So definitely um, something you want to consider if you want to invest in, but also at the same time a lot cheaper than the branded uh, items online that are branded for facial motion capture. The main component here is having some sort of tactical helmet or paintball helmet that has different mounting points. Um, it having a front mounting plate, a bracket or plate, is the most important part. Again, in the back, having the option to have a headband with the ratcheting dial. Make sure this is loosened up before I put it on. I'm just going to try to briefly take this off so you you want to have a GoPro style mounting plate that goes into the helmet. It's not going to be a GoPro branded. It's going to be some third party, but it's going to be that style. And everything else going down here is also going to be a GoPro style, but probably by a third party. Except for maybe V. I can't remember if these were or not, but again, they'll be in the description below. These are two arms. I probably could have got away with one, but for more flexibility and more range, I about two. Again, all GoPro style joints. And then I got a GoPro style phone mount. That, and I got this particular one because I wanted to have the phone vertical versus having horizontal. So I'll just snap this back on. It's pretty easy to do. And this offers you know, quite a bit more stability than using the bicycle helmet type setup. So if you're maybe using a motion capture suit or just want to have um, the freedom to move about while you're doing your facial motion capture performance alone, you have the option to do so. And again, you use the ratcheting dial on the back to tighten the helmet. Um, this one, I would say, is a lot lighter than the bicycle helmet setup. I don't feel the weight, even with the phone mounted on, I don't feel the weight of the helmet um, pulling my head forward. So you could put a back uh, mounted uh, weight back here, but uh, I don't feel the need to. And again, I get a lot more stability. And I can move a lot more with not so much weight on my head. So those are two options I just wanted to talk about very briefly. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And have a blessed day.